All the hit Z100 special guest in the building, Orientes in studio. Hey. Hey. Before we get into the interview between the guitar and the accent and the shoes, can you get a just get a shot of the shoes real quick? Between all three of those nice. things, I just have really one question. Yes. Will you marry me? <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's not a no. You're saying there's a chance. So welcome, Orianti. How are you? I'm good. How are well, you doing? Great. Welcome to Portland. Is this yeah, your, it's great is, to be is here. this your first time, or have you been here before? This is actually my first time here. But it's very beautiful. The weather's great, and uh, it's very green and, and luscious. We're actually staying by a lake earlier. Yeah. And I was feeding lots of ducks. You don't get to do that normally on a tour, do you? I get to do that at home. Uh, there's no lake, but I do have ducks. I love it. I love it. So, so it's good that you came this time of year, though, because if you come like in, I don't know, September, it just rains the entire time, and you'd have a totally different kind of point of view. But I'm glad you're coming in the summer. So you're on tour with Adam Lambert. Yes. What's that like, man? Is it those? I, I just imagine those those Lambert crowds are just nutty. Yes, yeah, they're, they're pretty. They're very dedicated. He has a very dedicated following in them. They're uh, they're so excited. You know, just to see him, and um, they're always camping outside, waiting for him to show up. And then after the show, they're there as well. And and uh, you know, it's been great. It's been really, really great um, playing playing the show. You know, uh, getting up there and jamming out with Allison, and and um, yeah, just a blast every night. Who wears more eyeliner, you or Adam Lambert? Um, I think Adam does. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, he came I... in earlier and he was dressed down, but he he still had a good a good pen or two of, of eyeliner on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking about wearing some myself, but I just I didn't want to overwhelm the room with eyeliner. Get By the, the way, how many, you know, spirit. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. By the way, how many uh, how many radio studios do you know that have a, a disco ball? How oh, cool that's are awesome. We? See, you I like gotta that? get one of those for the bus. <laughs> exactly. I need one for my bunk. You know what though? I we got this like two or three days ago, Orienti, and it was really cool the first two days. Hmm. But I sit in here for four hours every afternoon, and I'm starting to get motion sickness. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I feel like the room is spinning after a little while, and I get. A little. Well, it adds a bit of sparkle to the room. Right, you know, exactly. Which is a good thing. Exactly. Yeah. So obviously, you know, we got to know you first about a year or so ago on uh, on This Is It, and you were uh, doing your thing with MJ. But then you broke out, and you just you started knocking out these hits, and and kind of came into your own. It, has it been a challenge for you to kind of not be known as Michael Jackson's guitarist and more I'm Orienti? You know, I mean, obviously that's how people first met you. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's totally. kind of, you know what it is? Kind of like, you know, I was talking to Adam Lambert before. It's kind of like him with American Idol. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? There's kind of this initial jolt that kind of puts you in people's faces. But then yeah. it's kind of up to you then to... Yeah, to continue on. Right. You know, and, and uh, I'm just so grateful I got to work with Michael, being such a big fan. Yeah. So um, definitely a highlight of my life, you know, the yeah. whole experience. Crazy. Yeah. yeah, really crazy. Really surreal and crazy. Um, according to you, is is just blowing up everywhere. We love that single. Ah, oh, thank so you. So much fun. Thank you. We had a lot of fun playing that song live. Tell us about uh, tell us about kind of how how your album how, how you put together an album. What what is the process for you? Um, well, recording believe took about two and a half years off and on recording, and um, you know I had this chat with my producer Howard Benson before going in and recording it um, as how he wanted the record to sound and. Since, you know, I'm a guitar player, first up, um, I wanted to make a super commercial record that had a lot of guitar solos in it, but I wanted to make sure the songs were really strong, and um, he really focused in on that, how, and he was like, make sure these songs are really good before we, you know, go in and re record them, so we picked a good list of songs, and, and then um, made sure that when we put the guitar p parts in, they didn't take away from the songs, and it didn't get in the way, either, right. so if you're not a guitar player, you're not turned off, you know, by the, by the solos or parts, so... But yeah, I mean, you started. I mean, you you've been playing guitar since you were what, like, like six, six, seven I've been years playing for like old. Like eighteen years now. That's crazy. Yeah. And when Santana calls you an awesome guitar player, you know you've made it. How crazy is that for you? Uh, really, really crazy. I mean, he's the reason why I'm playing electric guitar. You know, I I saw a show of his in Adelaide, Australia, with my dad, and I was like eleven. And I turned to my dad and I was like. I want to play electric guitar. I don't want to play classical anymore because I was yeah. playing classical and that just looked so boring after <laughs> seeing you know, Carlos jamming out. And that's what I wanted to do for the rest of my life, you know, just playing. But that's crazy. You, you actually went to see this guy and you turn to your dad and you say, man, this guy's awesome. I want to do what that guy does. And then here, you know, 10, 15, some odd years later, you're actually like a colleague. You play with him. He talks about you yes. on TV. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty, pretty trippy. That's only. crazy, isn't it? Yeah. 
Yeah, that's crazy. definitely. So, um, you you got you brought your guitar in. I did. Yes. I'm excited. I can't wait to hear you play. We're gonna play a metal version of "According to You." Sweet. On the acoustics. Let's do it. According to you, I'm stupid, I'm useless, I can't do anything. According to you, I'm not going to pass a place for ever turning back. Excellent, by the way. I'll give you a second to catch your breath, but I have one more question for you that just occurred to me while you're playing. Yes. People stare at your guitar and stare at you playing guitar all day. Do you ever get self-conscious about your, uh, your fingernails? Do you always have to have perfect? Do you have like a fingernail? Like, do you have like a like a fingernail lady like on tour with you? Is that your bedazzler? Bedazzler. Just, because I just, it just occurred to me that because when you did your solo, yeah, I was staring at your fingers. And you got beautiful uh, fingernail polish on, but I mean playing guitar every night like something fierce like that's got to you got to go through like a lot of. They're actually not very pretty up close. No, they're really pretty. Like, All right, well maybe I'm standing <laughs> too far back. Way. Or yeah. that was that no. was incredible. Oh, thank, you. thank you so much. We appreciate you coming in and have a great show tonight with Adam. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for having us. For sure. And then.